Uh, I'm Alan Shankin, and I'm a below knee amputee as a result of a, a birth defect. I was in a car accident whenever I was 20 years old. Um, I actually got hit by a car on the freeway. And unfortunately, I lost my leg to street violence back in 2005. I lost my leg in August of 2004. I developed a soft tissue infection that became septic. I lost my leg about 22, 23 years ago in a motorcycle accident when I was living in Australia. I had lost my leg when I was 17 when we found a tumor in my right foot. And I lost my leg about two years ago after a long, long battle with uh, cancer. And when you get this group of, of amputee athletes in a room, the energy is um, unbelievable and inspiring. And, and that's what we're trying to harness and allow them and push them and give them the resources to, to do those type of activities and events and use that energy that they have. Good swing. And hold. There's definitely a gray area. After someone undergoes an amputation, they undergo physical therapy, and then they're sort of just set off into the world on their own without any additional training. Uh, unless you're a uh, returning vet, you know, you don't normally have this sort of extended training that you would receive at Walter Reed. In the whole idea of running, um, I just thought that that was something that I would never happen. And so the fact that they um, have a clinic to, uh, and that I'm a candidate to be able to get a running blade is phenomenal. Uh, it's key to have the support of your prosthetist and uh, the idea that, that they have a trainer here at UCSF I think is brilliant and it's going to make all the difference in the world for people. Once I got in contact with Matthew, then I met Alex, the whole team. We work together really well and they give me everything I need. I, I can call UCSF uh, and I can get in the same week and they'll schedule an appointment for me and I show up at 1 o'clock every time and they'll take care of me. They're really great, they're very supportive, and I love that they're doing new things um, and trying to build a community and provide opportunities for um, amputees that are athletes. And you know, they got me moving. It was like, I, t I told Matt, you know, I want to run and I want to I wanna move. And he said, okay, that's what we're going to do. And you know, now we're here. Currently, the clinic is more on the local level. We want to open this up to an, on a national stage. Um, to really allow people from all over who sort of are in a similar position that want to be able to do these activities that never have been shown how to do and never been given the resources to do so. So by utilizing the resources here at UCSF through our Human Performance Center, video gate analysis, um, through uh, the Picar Sports Center to be able to use the rock climbing wall, to be able to get into the pool, to be able to do conditioning training, things that you wouldn't ever normally be able to do, will be able to allow those people to uh, achieve those goals. I, I'm really impressed about their passion, about their knowledge, and I think the facility is, is terrific. So my hat goes off to, um, you know, to Matt and to Alex and the crew because I think they're really doing just a terrific, a terrific thing that can grow and we also have a, a group of passionate amputees who want to help each other.